For those everyday coffee drinkers, once you're done making your coffee, you're left with used grounds that most just toss out. These used coffee grounds are generally seen as waste but make a huge impact in our environment. There's one company that's collecting this coffee waste and turning it into reusable coffee cups. Sounds like a delicious solution, so how is it done? Well, stick around because we have answers to all your questions in this week's episode. How does coffee waste contribute to the climate crisis? How are these reusable cups made? And how does this process help our community and environment? But most importantly, we'll talk to a group that's upcycling all of this into this. This is Ricardo Garcia and Daniela Insiniades, the merry duo churning leftover waste after each coffee brew and turning it into your next reusable coffee cup. Our mission is to make an impact in society uh, and change people's mindset of how waste is seen. In 2022, Ricardo and Daniela established Coffee Christ, headquartered in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. With the operations in Colombia, the company is on a mission to reduce the amount of coffee waste that ends up in landfills. So how exactly does coffee waste turn into reusable coffee cups? To begin the process, the company partners with coffee shops, hotels, and restaurants across Colombia to collect 100% coffee grounds. But we are able to recycle any kind of um, coffee grounds. Used coffee grounds are picked up or delivered to the coffee craze facility. The grounds are placed on trays and heated in an oven at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for six hours. Once dry, the grounds are manually sifted to create smaller grains to prep them for the next step. Next, the fine grounds are mixed with bioresin, natural oils, and plant fibers. This material is then preheated and put through an injection molding machine where the final cup is formed. The whole process can take around four to five days. It all started when Ricardo and Daniela began questioning the coffee they drink every day, wondering what could be done with all the leftover waste. They set out to see just how much of the waste they created themselves. In just one month, the two of them accumulated four pounds of the stuff. And we couldn't stop thinking about all the coffee grounds thrown away in coffee shops and asked ourselves, what if this waste is not meant to be waste? So that, that is when we had the idea to repurpose uh, the waste into cups and began researching on how to make this idea a reality. And we couldn't think of a better idea than drinking coffee on a cup made from coffee that already smells like coffee. Ricardo and Daniela started talking to local coffee shops, and it turns out that these shops didn't know what to do with the leftover coffee grounds either. After seeing the scale of the issue, the duo set up a Kickstarter campaign where they sold more than 1,500 units and surpassed their funding goal by over 200%. Coffee Christ cups are manufactured in Colombia, a country that the duo has a special connection to. First of all, we are Colombians, so we grew up with coffee in our veins always wanted to do something to help the communities that make a living out of coffee and all of our sales will give a percentage of this profit to these people that work in Colombia for our coffee production. The brown cups are heat resistant and made in two different sizes, a 14 ounce travel cup and a 12 ounce latte cup with a matching saucer. And they actually have a real coffee smell. Each cup is made with at least 30% coffee grounds. What else makes these cups different from any other reusable cups? The founder said they're not made from petroleum-based plastics and are 100% sustainable because of the plant-based materials used. Our unique mix of materials that are all vegan, uh, plant-based, nothing is artificial, not even the scent, not even the color, all comes from the coffee. And that's what differentiates us from all the other competitors. Not only that, each cup will last you around 7 to 10 years, and Coffee Christ will even take back your old cup and upcycle it again, creating a circular economy. And they are designed and engineered to last for years in, in any settings, commercial or residential settings, due to its material composition that won't cheat or break. Why is upcycling coffee grounds important to Ricardo and Daniela? About 2 billion cups of coffee are consumed worldwide every day, and 6 million metric tons of used grounds end up in landfills every year. When thrown in landfills, it takes about 3 months for the coffee grounds to start decomposing in the landfill's oxygen-free or anaerobic environment. And without oxygen, all that decomposing coffee waste releases methane, a powerful greenhouse gas. And don't forget the cups. An estimated 2.5 billion single-use coffee cups are discarded annually worldwide. To be part of the solution, Coffee Christ 
Price has already collected around 100 pounds of coffee grounds for its trials. By the end of 2022, the company aims to collect more than half a ton of coffee waste and manufacture more than 5,000 cups. The team also plans on scaling up the company to recycle coffee grounds in the U.S. and in other Latin American countries. So in the future, we want to give this opportunity for the people at their homes to be able uh, for them to provide um, this coffee waste for us. It plans on introducing new products to its line. We are here to reduce at least a significant percentage of the waste generated by the coffee industry, which is tremendous. Our vision uh, for Coffee Craze is not only to provide reusable cups, but also other products that we use in their everyday lives whether it be at homes or at restaurants or coffee shops. How can you get your hands on your own Coffee Christ cups? The company is currently taking pre-orders at coffeechrist.com. Pre-orders are priced at $25.99 for the travel mug or $41.99 for a set of four latte cups. Shipping is expected in January 2023. Want to help recycle coffee waste? For now, Coffee Christ only collects coffee grounds in Colombia. If you're located in Colombia, you can reach out to the company and it will coordinate the recycling process. So as stewards of the environment, we are responsible for preserving and protecting our resources for ourselves and future generations. So if we don't do it now, uh, the future generations are going to be affected. In the meantime, you can locate your city's nearest coffee collection services that use the coffee grounds for composting and for food and beverages. You can also get creative with your coffee grounds. You can use them to make body scrubs, put them in your fridge to absorb bad smells, compost, or use as fertilization. So what do you think? Have you ever wondered what happens to coffee waste? What do you do with your coffee grounds? And what other solutions to these issues have you seen? Let us know in the comments below.